All right, guys, here it is. Uh, this is just going to be a short video of a uh, new grip I've been experiment with, uh, experimenting with uh, called my, uh, it's a claw, claw grip. It works like so. All right, so what I'm trying to do in this particular grip is to keep the fingers together uh, from the pickup all the way into the release of the dice. That's what's problematic for me. Of course, uh, dealing with this uh, mild arthritis, uh, every grip is problematic, but I've been really working uh, very hard with this one. Yeah, I've been having mixed results, but understandably so because it's new. Uh, I've been so used to crossing the fingers and, and all that, and uh, now I'm trying to do it. Uh, another way so it's a work in progress all right probably gonna be a real short video because uh, this camera is I got the bad camera today so the other phone is charging. I should say I have the bad camera phone today. The other one's charging. So uh, that's just what it is. All right, here we go. All right. And there is our first seven out. But once again, I like the grip. Uh, I mean, got to work with it, of course. But uh, like anything, put in the work, you should receive results. Think if I can keep the fingers together, clamped together in a claw-like grip from beginning to end, uh, eventually it'll start to feel better and work itself out into some, you know, decent, decent hands. All right, that's the eight. The problem for me is keeping the fingers <clears throat> clamped together all the way into release. That's what's problematic for me. But uh, once again, hey, I'm going to keep working. Got it eight. Well, you know the saying, <clears throat> they said that, <clears throat> excuse me, they said that all work and no play made Jack a dull boy. Well, I want to be a dull boy. Because I'm going to keep working. I'm going to keep spinning. 
and hope to keep winning. Five one six. Guys, I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. I got a horrible cold. Uh, I don't know how long the camera is going to stay on, but I'm just trying to give you guys a glimpse of uh, <clears throat> the grip I'm working on. Once again, it's called the Claw, C L A W, Claw Grip. Uh, you know, once again, all I'm doing is making sure all the fingers are tight, pressed together, come down, all the way down to the table surface. And then I try to keep them, keep the fingers together from beginning to end. All right, that's point made five. All right, point is six. What I'll do, guys, is just keep uh, checking the uh, camera periodically to make sure it's on. But uh, when it cuts off, it just cuts off. So uh, at least you guys get to see. Uh, okay, still going. Well, it's going to cut off soon because uh, it's faulty. But at least you guys uh, get to see exactly the grip that I've been working on. Once again, it's called the claw grip. All I'm doing is just keeping the fingers tight, coming down like a claw. That's all I'm doing. Four. All right, you got a 617. Still a work in progress, still a work in progress. Eventually the numbers will come, so I'm not worried about that as long as I keep the dice flying properly. Uh, all right, I got to keep checking the camera to make sure that I'm just not talking to myself because, like I said, this camera's going to cut off soon. So, all right, here we go. That's a loser. Three. Loser.
Got a point of nine. I'm going to go to across sixes. What the hell? Just, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll go to across six. Hard four. So I like the release, guys. It's just I got to work on making it uh, more stable, more comfortable. And uh, hopefully, uh, I mean, the numbers will start coming eventually. I mean, I've only been working on this grip two days. So it's not, uh, I mean, it's still in the uh, preliminary stages. So, all right, here we go. All right, heart six. Six. There it is. Wasn't pretty, but uh, <laughs> got the job done. All right. It got the job done. Here we go. Check this camera. Make sure we're still rolling, which we probably are not. Oh, I don't believe it. We're still rolling. All right. Here we go. What do you know? Five. The opposite of nine. The sister number. Here we go. Cross six. That damn six is hot, ain't it? All right, six. Well, reaction videos. Uh, well, I don't know, guys. I'm I'm still letting that marinate. Uh, buddy of mine told me probably uh, it'd be best not to do it because uh, some people may be offended uh, by being critiqued. Uh, so I just may end up uh, doing reaction videos. Uh, on my own videos because uh, I'll put it to you like this. In my opinion, I, I think there's a lot of tossing going on on 
uh, the dice tossing channels, I'm not going to name any names, uh, that's really, in my opinion, not uh, dice influenced or control tossing. Uh, that's just my opinion. Uh, and, of course, I'm already uh, <laughs> pretty much ostracized from the uh, dice influencing community for my uh, hmm, very strong opinions, or I should say abrasive uh, opinions. Uh, I've been told that uh, by me doing the reaction videos, that it'll probably make things worse. So... Uh, more than likely, all right, that's another six guys. More than likely, I'll probably end up doing uh, my own uh, reaction videos on my own videos. Uh, it's like I told you guys a long time ago. It's not about, to me, trying to make the light, dice look pretty and all that. Who gives a shit if the dice look pretty? I just want them to fly through the air as a unit, land completely flat as possible, skip, hop, triple, and I want them to... Uh, I want the dice to suffer cardiac arrest at the back wall. That's right. I want them to have a heart attack right at the back wall, drop down. Uh, well, not drop down, but uh, stop dead uh, within close proximity of the back wall. Huh, look at that six, y'all. Now, of course, uh, when that does not happen, I ridicule myself. I blast myself. I don't just, you know, try to blast other channels. Hell, I blast myself. If you look at any of my videos, I always say, oh, bullshit toss, or shit can, dumpster dive, blah, blah, blah. Because, I mean, if that's what I feel it is, I'm going to call myself out on it. So it's not about me trying to, uh, you know, belittle other channels. It's just that I have a very strong opinion as to uh, what I consider uh, dice influence and dice control or control tossing. A lot of people just feel that as long as you toss a long hand and you set the dice a certain way and it looks professional and all that, that is dice influencing. I disagree with that. Now, do the casinos care if your dice fly through the air <laughs> as a unit? Do they care if uh, your dice have uh, very little uh, bounce off the back wall? Uh, do they care if, uh, you know, you toss, uh, you know, in a controlled fashion? No. They pay on the numbers. You have your money wagered on. I have no problems understanding that. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to tell the casinos not to pay me because the toss is fucked up, <laughs> you know, because it's, it's it looks horrible. All I'm saying is my opinion is that, you know, if, if the model of dice influencing, uh, or I should say good mechanics, good mechanics, is for the dice to go through there as a unit, land completely flat, uh, you keep hitting your same general area. I don't believe in that landing spot shit where you hit a target the size of a piece of lint. No, nah, I don't believe in that. Uh, but your dice land in the same general area. They have very little rolling back, uh, uh, a bounce and roll out off the back wall. They closely crop together. That's what I consider control tossing. Uh, most people just figure, hey, uh, I set the dice in my par toss or my golden touch or my whatever grip. And I had a 40 roll hand and it's dice influence. And man, that can be the farthest thing for the truth, especially if your dice are all over the table. It's uh, okay, that's an eight, hard eight. That's a hard eight. I mean, if you, you know, gripping the dice in a perfect, with a perfect grip and, and you're getting this all the time and you're going on, man, that's not, well, in my opinion, that's not dice influence. And did you apply the correct amount of energy to get a favorable result to toss that 40 roll hand? Oh, absolutely. But all I'm saying is not control tossing. You just happen to get lucky enough to apply the correct amount of English to toss that 40 row hand with your dice flying all over the table. That's just my belief. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. It is what it is. I'll call myself out on the same thing. It's not just about me trying to chastise or uh, be abrasive or pick on other channels. I, I pick on myself. What's wrong with trying to strive for perfection? Even though we, know we might not, you know, uh, uh, attain that perfection, what's wrong with trying? What's wrong with trying to make your dice fly as a unit? Hit flat, come off the back wall with very little bounce and roll out. What's wrong with that? What's wrong, wrong with closely cropped together landings uh, when the dice come off the back wall? I mean, does that necessarily mean that, uh, you know, you, you're going to toss a long hand? No. Does it mean that you're going to toss repeaters? No. Does it mean, uh, you know, you're going to get a primary hiss? Absolutely not. But I think that's one of the main ingredients that leads you to the road uh, of success. 
I mean, me personally, I just feel that if your dice is going to land all over the table, hell, why even set them? Why toss in a controlled fashion? Just pick them up and throw them. Same end result. You may get lucky and apply correct, uh, the correct amount of English and go on a 50-roll hand. So, I mean, just my opinion. So, I've been advised not to do the, uh, <laughs> the uh, reaction videos of other dice tossing channels. So, there you have it. I, I, I did get a lot of comments with people saying, that, you know, it'd be interesting to see and all that. And, uh, but, you know, I, I just don't want to make anyone feel, uh, feel like they have less skill than, than what they have. Put it like that. So, uh, for that very reason, I'm probably leaning more towards not doing it you know like i said i'd rather just blast myself how about if i just have fun being abrasive with my own tosser this way people don't say oh, okay pick on people he think he the best tosser no so i'll just pick on myself and then i'll see what you guys say then i'll see if you say i'm still being abrasive i'm just being truthful spade to spade if you don't want me to be truthful about what's going on with these channels man it what can I tell you? Just like Waylon's channel. I said it once and I'll say it again. You know, initially me and Waylon started off on a bad foot. because, And, and I did apologize. So one thing about me, guys, I'm willing to apologize when I'm wrong. But when I'm right, I'm standing down ten toes like a rock when, when I feel I'm when I know I'm right. But, uh, yeah, I was wrong about his channel. Uh, you know, I thought that. Uh, well, here's the thing about Waylon. He never was trying to sell anything. So that I mean, that that stands for something. But uh, I initially thought his channel was just trying to push betting strategies as 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 an advantage. And no, you know. <laughs> My stupidity, when I go back and look at, you know, all his old videos, he always says there's a hole in every strategy. So I respect the man. You know, I respect what he does. Uh, I think he takes the money he gets off YouTube, give that shit to charity. So, man, I mean, somebody like that, you got to stand behind him. I mean, he's not out here trying to flee somebody, trying to bullshit people. He's just straight up. It was just my interpretation was wrong. But, hey. Ask the man, go to his channel, ask him that I apologize. And if I ever see him in real life, I'm going to shake his fucking hand and say, hey, wait, and I was wrong. Because, hey, that's what it is. Sometimes, man, you got to be man up. You got to man up and admit when you're wrong. Just like when these guys, and I'm going to say this briefly, I'm going to move on. When these guys start t attacking the chopper, not saying Waylon, Waylon had nothing to do with it. But other individuals, when they start, you know, attacking the chopper and saying it was fucking illegal and uh, it's a flea flick and all that. Hey, man, what am I supposed to do? I'm not going to sit here and let you slap me in the face and turn the other cheek. No, it don't go like that. You know, Christ is king. But one thing about the Bible, uh, I don't necessarily agree with everything in the Bible. I ain't going to let you slap me in the face and then I turn around and say, hey, slap this cheek too. No, your ass going to get slapped back. It's going to be some punching going on. So that's what it is. But anyway, uh, once again, just my opinion of what I consider control tossing. That's just me. I want my dice, and I know I can't have this, but what's wrong with dreaming? <laughs> Every time, I wish they can freaking land like that. Every time they come off the back wall, is that going to happen? No, but guess what? That's my example. That's my role model. That's my objective. That's what I try to achieve. So uh, if that's wrong, if that uh, makes me uh, a uh, abrasive person, uh, all right, well, fuck it. I'm a brace. Give me the Band-Aid. So that's just what it is. Matter of fact, let me check this uh, camera. It probably went off. Probably been talking to myself for the last 20 minutes. Oh, no, okay. Y'all heard that one. All right, it's still rolling. But anyway, all right, so uh, whether I make the five or miss it, I just want to show you guys briefly. Damn, I thought it'd be briefly. It's actually, the camera stayed on longer than I thought. Just wanted to show you guys what the uh, claw grip was about. So once either the camera cuts off, I make the fire, or I miss the fire, this will conclude the video.
<laughs> that concludes the video. That's a 617L. But anyway, uh, that's the toss I've been working on. Uh, I mean, we'll see how it goes over the next, uh, oh, let's see, over the next 3,000 tosses, three to 5,000 tosses, because you can't uh, do a book of, <laughs> you can't do a book of 720 rows, guys, uh, 1,440 rows, and, and all of a sudden now, uh, you know, you found something new. It don't go like that. You know, you can't toss 1,400 times and tabulate and put it in a uh, software and get the best dice set and all that and it, no it I, I don't believe in that uh, not attacking once again not attacking any uh channels individual software uh, whatever i just don't believe that i mean if that was the case if we can take if we can take a dice set uh and toss let's just say two thousand times and then put it in a uh you know in, in software and software you know uh hit a transposition table uh tab and it gives us the best si a, a dice set how keep how come people not doing it and getting rich well maybe they are doing it getting rich and keeping the mouths closed but i believe it's the former <laughs> as opposed to the latter i don't believe that you can i, I believe it takes thousands upon thousands of tosses uh just to get your your toss technique uh permanently ingrained of course, some people are going to be a little bit more coordinated than others where maybe they don't have to necessarily go through thousands of tosses. But I don't think it's a person alive that has such good hand-eye coordination that they can, uh, you know, use a dice set and, and toss for, you know, let's just say a thousand rows. And, uh, you know, I mean, now that's your dice set and you're killing the casinos. That shit don't work like that. I mean, cut the shit.